or Hiroshima as we say in English where the atomic bomb blew up the entire city and now it's just like this beautiful beautiful city with lots of like we're in a green park now on the way to the castle and uh, yeah guys yeah, sunscreen sun cream it's very important you can look at these people here Just finish our sightseeing on this castle. A funny thing about Japan is that you can get like really weird flavored ice cream all over the place. That's something I love about Japan. And now this is the first time I've tried like um, I'm trying a sake ice cream. Show you. <laughs> it's like eating ice cream alcohol. <laughs> it's so weird. I guess you will like it. Mm. I think it was good. It didn't really taste like alcohol, did it? I think so. <laughs> oh, let's mock up. Should I? I think you should have something. It's a mock up. No. It's not tasting that good. Hmm. Strange. So at first it kind of tasted a bit like sake, like so I felt like alcohol, but then after a while like the, I, I like the taste more and more. And actually now that I think about it, it reminds me of something I ate in my childhood, like some kind of ice cream, but I can't remember which. Really like it though. <laughs> Now we're at the um, atomic dome, the only thing that survived the uh, atomic bombing. It's also a symbol of um, peace, never to allow atomic bombs and always keep peace. So it's been added to the UNESCO World Heritage List as well. Oregami like peace monument. The story behind this monument is that there was a girl, she survived the atomic bombing with her class, but she uh, developed leukemia because of the radiation. She believed in the old fortune that if she folded a thousand origamis, her wish would come true that she would survive, but she didn't. At her wake, her classmates vowed to make a, a symbol of her, uh, a memorial, and which they actually were able to do. So this is here. And now you can see like the school children are like holding speeches to her in front of the monument. It's kind of, like quite touching. So we just came out from uh, the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum. Uh, we decided not to film in there because it's just like, you know, it's just so emotional and it's kind of, I think you just have to like, you know, go there and experience it yourself. Uh, I couldn't help but start crying. You can read um, quotes from children and see their clothes. But I think it is also very important to uh, experience that and read it because it's history. Uh, unfortunately, a very ugly side of the war and the history, but it is important to take a notice and uh, remember it. Now we're waiting for the boat or the ferry to... We're going to an island where they have a large gate. I uh, don't know the name. just arrived to Miyajima, just landed, I don't know, we just docked. So now we're gonna try to find the gate, not the small one over there. Yeah, not that one. So 
we're here in Miyajima and uh, yeah, as you can see there's also deers here. Chika. But unlike Nara, here you shouldn't pet them. Just let them be free and live as wild as possible. Uh, they're very friendly. I don't think usually people give them food here that eat naturally, so yeah, they seem like much calmer and yeah, it's very nice, a different kind of atmosphere. Inside a shrine or something, and we could look out to this gate. It's so beautiful, guys. Everything closed so early here on this island and uh, we're trying to find some food. Might be a bit hard now, but I guess we just had to keep trying. Uh, we finally found a place. It's called the Miyajima Brewery. Brewery. By the way, just found a place here guys and it's beautiful. We got this beautiful site. It can't be better than this. Well, I would say in short, omelette rice. But it's not omelette soup. She no, said, no, no, she no, said no. it's similar. And? Might be something in the middle. <laughs> there is no, filling no, no, no. actually. Oh, Look, yeah. interesting. What interesting. was in there? Not sure. Like a fish? Oh, there's like a fish. I'm not looking. There was an eel. I think there was eel. Mm, yeah, that's good. Yeah, it was eel. Mm. Mm. It was good. Yeah, it was good. Cheers. That was so fish Sucks. Couldn't take this drone shot, but anyway, we have to run. What's up, guys? Uh, so this is beef and carrots. I was quite kind of tired, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we went in a good time. So we were just strolling along the beach, and now we're gonna catch the ferry to Hiroshima. Woo. <laughs> Gotta sun cream your air, man. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a really bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> 